Welcome, Welcome to, to Bad, Bad Wimpfen. All right, Baden-Württemberg, thanks for joining us. When we daydream about our European adventures, we often fantasize about stumbling upon a hidden gem, a place untouched by the tourist frenzy, where we can soak up the old world charm without dodging selfie sticks or fighting for a table at a quaint cafe. Well, hold on to your hats because this enchanting spot isn't in the middle of nowhere. Enter Bad Wimpfen, a picturesque village straight out of a snow globe, seemingly caught in a time warp. Surprisingly, it's just a stone's throw away from Stuttgart, a mere 40 miles, and easily accessible by train. Bad Wimpfen definitely needs to be on your list of must-visit places in Germany. Be sure to watch until the end to participate in this week's trivia. All right, so this is a classic example of half timber framed houses from the Middle Ages. And this is one of the narrowest timber framed houses in all of Germany. And the shape of it, if you look at the shape, they call this the flat iron house because it's shaped like an iron. So very, very beautiful. Just the colors are, are absolutely stunning. It's really pretty when you come around the corner. It's right there and a very striking architecture. Okay, so this is the Eagle Fountain here in Bad Wimpen, Bad Wimpen, and it has on top the eagle that it was the um, the crest from, from, from this from when this was a um, a Reich's city. Um, the original is in the city museum, but uh, from the 1700s this fountain is and it's known locally that its nickname is called the Stork Fountain because supposedly ladies who drink from this fountain got pregnant soon thereafter. In uh, Edstein, we asked for information in English, or I asked for information in English, and they didn't have any. But today, here in Bad Wimpen, they uh, <coughs> spoke English and uh, they gave us a tour guide in English, which was very handy. Got the church here. Walk around here to this square. Okay, this phenomenal um, crucifixion scene was sculpted between 1470 and 1519, and it was donated to the church here in Bad Wimpen uh, in 1519. Uh, just a really impressive work of art. And to look at this and to think that this was made like 500 years ago, it's just, it's, to me, it's, it's really unbelievable. It's, uh, the craftsmanship is really amazing. All right, let's go to church. Wow. So something very unique here in this church is that they have this crucifix here behind me that uses real hair, um, something I've never seen before and I think is kind of interesting. So I'm going to climb the blue tower here in Bad Pimpin. I don't know how many steps. It looks pretty tall, 3 euro 50. Um, so let's go. This tower was built in the 1100s, so it's pretty old. Oh, there's the bell from 1851. I was uh, damaged by fire in 1984 with temperatures up to 900 degrees Celsius. These steps are really worn down. I don't know how old these steps are. Pretty sure they're not from the 1100s, but <coughs> they're fairly old because they've been stepped on a lot. 
Oh, looky here. I guess if you're tired, you need to take a break. There's a seat for you. Oh, these wood beams. Looks pretty solid. Okay, so I had to pay my entrance fee. So they make you come half the way up before they stop you for payment. Only three euros though, not bad. Alright, so I made it to the top of the blue tower. Was it too bad? Got a little bit of workout in, climbing the tower. Good thing I took some Motrin keep my joints all loose my muscles loose so I'll probably be feeling it tomorrow and I'll be thinking why on earth did I climb that stupid tower but uh, it's kind of hard to resist sometimes look at this it's the church where I was just at that is the town hall. Okay, so uh, I'm on top of the blue tower and the views are absolutely um, uh, amazing. They're, they're really, really phenomenal. And something interesting about this tower, uh, I, I said just a few minutes ago that uh, it was built around 1170. So in the 12th century, it's, so it's really old. And um, this tower, so many of the towers historically, you know, you find towers like this all around Germany. This one is, from what I understand, it's pretty much original. I mean, I'm sure, you know, obviously some things have been updated and it's ha had some damage, but I don't think it's ever been totally destroyed and rebuilt. So uh, much of this tower actually is original from the, from the 1100s. But the uh, tradition is uh, most of these old towers historically uh, have always had a, a watchman who lived in the tower or watch person. It was a lady here who, that I saw actually still live in the tower. So they have like a little apartment uh, a couple floors down. And as you're coming up, that's where you stop and pay your money to come to the tower. So most of the towers have done away with the with the watchman and they don't have those anymore. But here in this tower, they actually still live here. And uh, I don't, I'm not sure what else they do but they collect your money when you come up and they take your three euros to climb the, the rest of the way up to the tower um, and I always find that kind of interesting because a lot of times if you're climbing these steps um, they, they don't put the, uh, um, the the pay station at the bottom so you're halfway up and uh, you think oh maybe I got away with it and no one's gonna take my money but you get halfway up and they stop you and, and take your money when you're kind of stuck you're like well I guess I got to go up the rest of the way now because I've already climbed half the way all right kind of interesting I guess but blue tower Bad Vimpen, uh very interesting great views so these are pictures from the fire and from 1984 uh, a big portion of the the top of the tower was burned in 84 and they've got huh, they have a fire extinguisher here handy now um, and so they got some of the, the pieces the bell and some other parts that were damaged that came down in 84 and I think maybe this was on top and fell I'm not sure but uh, there doesn't there's not any description of that part here, but anyway. So yeah, it was pretty severely damaged in 1984 when we saw the bell earlier. Okay, so here we have the red tower part of the one of the towers from the city wall and you can look and see it has different construction materials um, it's darker at the bottom gets lighter and it gets darker again at the top um, I, and when I looked at this I just assumed that it had been destroyed and rebuilt destroyed and rebuilt but uh, according to the city literature it's actually 
original and uh, they just built it as they were building it up uh, they use different materials so it's different uh, colors and they say that the uh, you could, if you can see there's uh, holes at the top for archers for arrows to come out for in the city defenses and supposedly that's all original it's called the red tower because it, it used to have a roof on it which was red and that's why they named it the red tower but the roof was destroyed in the 30 years war i believe and i guess never replaced all right so on, along the city wall here in uh Vinton, and we've got a, another tower um, in front of me um, the red tower and behind me this this little guy here is called the Nuremberger Turmchen, which kind of means little tower, I guess. Um, and so this was built to honor the uh, imperial city of Nuremberg, who helped Bad Wimpen during the Thirty Years' War. Um, so after the Thirty Years' War was over, Bad Wimpen was saved, and Nuremberg helped. So to help to honor the city of Nuremberg, they built this little tower in its honor. And it's little and called Turmchen. And uh, if you know Nuremberger Bratwurst, they're the real small little Bratwurst. So I don't know if that has, it, that has anything to do with it or not, but uh, they built a little tower for Nuremberg who has little Bratwurst. There's a little treasure everywhere you turn. And we're trying to get lunch. The place closes for lunch at two. And so we've got a few minutes to get there. We're trying to find it. We have to walk through another very narrow alleyway here, but man, this is so cool. I'm just like a little kid in these places. It's like an adventure around every step. I guess I'm just a big nerd, perhaps. All right, here we are. Well, that's the the lion fountain there. At the lion fountain. Ah, up this way. All right, continuing on our journey here in Bad Vimfen. Look at this building. It's got a crown, looks like a crown hanging out. Yeah, crown. Italian restaurant now, San, San Valentino. Pretty sure originally it was not an Italian restaurant. Um, just fascinating. So we had lunch at this place, which we'll show you later, but a really good lunch. Special old house. And uh, I asked the lady how old the building was, and she pointed to a sign above the window that said, 1535. Ah, it's just, it's so cool. These old towns just kind of, all these buildings just kind of frozen in time. Just look how this beam just sags in the middle. Place called Adler, which means eagle. Kind of jutting out there. I mean, these are the type of houses that, as a kid, when I was a kid, you would see these in like cartoons and fairy tale books and stuff like that. You really don't think they're they're real but uh they are real okay so directly behind me the nice red and white half timbered house that is the uh, tourist information office and on either side of it we've got part of the old hospital which is really cool we've got a really cool fountain here and then on the other side i'm going to show you what they call the the gross house which is the the biggest uh, timber framed house in the city so this is a really cool little area and it sounds nice with the fountain here as well so that golden building, that was uh, part of the old hospital. And then this, this uh, grayish, bluish timber frame building. This is part of the 
tourist information and the um, city museum. And this is just so cool. And like, and so uh, this is also part of the tourist information office, the red and white building. And if you look, I'm guessing. So a lot of these old houses, this this looks like, and I don't know, I haven't read, but this looks like it was probably an old, maybe an old farmhouse because you got the opening in the bottom to bring the wagons in. And uh, you could bring the wagon and your livestock in and oftentimes you'd keep those down at the bottom. And then in the middle area where the people lived and up at the top they stored things. And you can see the window and there's a pulley up there so they could bring things up from the ground. And that rock building is again part of the uh, hospital. And then we've got the timbered frame house. That is really cool fountain and it's a low trough so my guess is livestock could drink out of there horses could drink out of there of course people probably also bathed in there and it says kind drink faucet which means you can't drink out of it but I'm sure back in the day plenty of people drink from this fountain and then we've got some really cool steps not exactly sure what these are for and then just over this hedge we've got the gross house and that is from the 1500s that house so really cool really really impressive and then got that nice pink house that is I believe a hotel maybe a restaurant um, it's got a nice golden sign hanging outside So the medieval or middle ages bathhouse from 1534. Sargassa Zane, yeah, I guess that's what it is. And it's the former townhouse which belonged to the prosperous noble family from Ehrenberg. It was built in 1451. And it's one of the oldest timber framed houses in town. All right, so we just went inside this church. It's the Dominican church here in Bad Vinton. And this church was built in the 13th century. So in the 1200s, they built this church. And then it was, uh, trans I guess, transitioned into uh, Baroque style in the 1700s, but it is really cool inside. So uh, sometimes, I mean, it doesn't really look like much on the outside. And just like yesterday, we saw one that wasn't too impressive on the outside, but walking inside, it really kind of blew me away. It is really, really beautiful inside. All right, so this is the uh, former mayor's house, the Burgermeister's house, and it dates back to the 1500s, and it was actually built on top of an even older medieval house, and it is actually very striking. It has a nice uh, bay window kind of coming out from the second floor there, if you can see that. So, yeah, very, very beautiful building in the former mayor's house here in Bad Vimpen. It's time for trivia. Last week's question was, which city in Germany holds the record for the largest documented witch trials? And thanks to Elisa Clowers, 932, for your answer of Hexenburg. But unfortunately, that's not quite right. Also, thanks to Margaret Simmons, 7143, for your answer of Würzburg, which unfortunately is also not correct. The answer we were looking for was Trier. The witch trials in Trier lasted from 1581 until 1593, and at least 368 people were burned alive for being accused of witchcraft. And this is possibly the largest mass execution in Europe during peacetime. Now for this week's trivia question. What were the tower keeper's duties in the Middle Ages? Thanks for playing, and we look forward to your answers.
All right, I hope you enjoyed this little visit to Bad Wimpen and Baden Württemberg. And thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedule to join us here on this adventure. Hope you had a great time. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and leave us a comment about what you thought about today. Have you been here? And where's your favorite place to visit in Germany? Thanks, till next time.